As stated numerous times in the past, this channel is not about the puppet show that is politics, it is about the puppeteers who pull the strings behind the scenes. And these proverbial strings were never more apparent than during the CNN presidential debate that aired on June 27. The most powerful man on earth was not even the most powerful man in the room. The CNN debate will most likely go down in history as the worst performance ever by a presidential candidate. Described as nothing less than a disaster and a train wreck by journalists who had no way of spinning this positively, Joe Biden's performance was not merely bad, it was deeply concerning. It was one of these historical moments when a conspiracy theory became an obvious reality for the average person. Indeed, as the world witnessed Joe Biden struggling to form a coherent sentence, one thought came to our collective minds. Who is truly running America? Because it's clearly not Joe Biden. Watching the President of the United States walking stiffly on stage, struggling to pronounce words audibly, and staring blankly toward the afterlife, was difficult to watch. This man should not be debating on television, let alone campaigning across the country. He should be eating oatmeal and taking long afternoon naps. And that's probably what he was doing most of the time in the past four years. While the media did its best to hide Biden's inility, the debate made it abundantly clear that he was not the one managing the country's economy, conducting military operations, or devising social policies. Everything is already planned out from above, and he has no say in any of this. In fact, Biden doesn't even run his ex-account. This highly intellectual post appeared on Biden's ex-account right in the middle of the debate. While it is common for politicians to have PR specialists run their social media accounts, there's usually some effort to give an illusion of authenticity. In other words, Joe Biden isn't running anything. He's the one that's being run. So, who's running him and the country? The same tentacular entity that runs countries worldwide, with the same disastrous effects. The global elite. Every aspect of Biden's presidency was planned long before he took office. Sadly, the ultimate goal is not America's security and prosperity, it is the profound reshaping of America to fit into a global world order. Biden is not the first president to be controlled by outside forces, and many other heads of state worldwide are currently taking orders from the same place. The only difference is that Biden's declining cognitive functions made everything abundantly clear. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. As a Canadian, I know something about a heavily compromised head of state. Justin Trudeau, whose profession before becoming Canada's prime minister was high school drama teacher, is an empty vessel trained to implement the West's agendas. And that is not a conspiracy theory. Klaus Schwab, the head of the WEF, boasted that his organization was penetrating the Canadian government and several others. Several other governments around the world take orders from the same place. In a video about the 2024 Bilderberg meeting, I highlighted the presence of these important figures of the Biden administration, among many others. Jen Easterly, director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency of the United States. Taryn Chabra, Senior Director for Technology and National Security of the United States. Richard H. Phillips, Director of National Intelligence of the United States. These three directors are responsible for highly secretive United States agencies involving national security. Why are they discussing this with leaders from around the world? Who are they truly working for? The sad truth is that they are taking orders. Then, they implement these orders while Biden naps and Trudeau stares blankly at a wall. These heads of state are not there to run the country, they are used to sell destructive policies devised to bring about a single goal. A new world order. This image is on the World Economic Forum's website. Every single country infiltrated by globalists displays one obvious telltale. Uncontrolled immigration. Even Canada, a country that only shares a border with the United States, found a way of losing control of immigration. After purposely losing control of immigration, Trudeau says that immigration is out of control and there's nothing he can do about it. Globalist leaders work against their country and for a new world order. All of this is by design. 
A massive flux of uncontrolled immigration is the first step towards a global government. First, it erodes national cultures and identities, replacing them with a hegemonic global culture. To achieve a world government, local cultures and histories need to be erased, and, even worse, they need to be considered racist. Second, mass immigration leads to the decay of the social fabric, lowers the quality of life, creates tensions, and exacerbates division. These things are great for destroying a country from within, and justifying implementing a global world order. As soon as the Biden administration took power, it opened the southern border inexplicably. Why would anyone in their right mind do such a destructive and counterproductive thing? Even a lead-owned New York Times have to report on the unprecedented wave of illegal immigration that's profoundly altering life in American cities. On a symbolic level, national pride is slowly replaced with other types of pride that can be applied globally. Of course, I'm exaggerating. They're probably human. But, to quote a famous song, they not like us. In the Simpsons episode Treehouse of Horror the 7th, 1996, Homer reveals that presidential candidates Bob Dole and Bill Clinton are actually aliens with common goals. In this classic Simpsons episode, the aliens do their best to act like normal humans. They fail miserably, but people still don't see it. In recent months, we've been seeing politicians truly struggling to behave like humans. During a media event, Biden mistakenly showed a list of instructions he was given. Please read this card and tell me those do not look like instructions given to an alien to appear human. The most replayed highlight of the CNN presidential debate featured Joe Biden freezing up for an excruciating number of seconds before proclaiming, look, we finally beat Medicare. This disastrous moment happened after days of drilling and rehearsing at Camp David with an entire team of high-paid specialists. Despite this, Biden glitched and proclaimed that he finally beat Medicare. As humorous as it might sound to his opponents, this nonsensical and self-sabotaging phrase was quite telling. Joe Biden is not there. And he doesn't need to be there. There's an entire system running the show behind him. Some call it the shadow government, others call it the deep state. No matter what expression is used, they refer to the same idea. The globalist agenda moves forward, no matter who is in power. Because the person in power has no power. They're merely puppets used to rile up those who watch the puppet show. And, if the person in power actually attempts to do their job, the elite machine, complicit with mass media, will find ways to assassinate their character and spit them out of the system. While this used to be a conspiracy theory, Joe Biden's vacant look towards the horizon was the shocking proof the world needed to understand that the commander in chief is merely there to put a human face on the aliens attempting to rule the world. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.